morning, ladies. I find it an honor and a privilege to share the offering with you this morning. I'd like to ask you a question this morning. What is that you have in your hand? Is it a seed? Is it the word of God? Or is it a positive confession? Your prosperity depends on all three. As you sow your seed this morning, as you give your offering, remember it's God's word that will see that seed increase. God's word, as you meditate on it, as you read the scripture, as you read the promises, meditate on that word, that will allow your seed to grow. Whilst you're waiting for your harvest, have a positive confession. No matter how tight it may be, no matter how difficult it may be, continue to speak the word. Continue meditating on God's promise. Every prosperity scripture, you meditate on it and then you begin to see your seed grow. Have a positive confession. Speak faith, speak life, and speak the word of God. As you wait on your seed, I believe God for a harvest. As you sow your seed, you will believe God for a harvest. Ladies, it's impossible for God to do nothing. God is not a man that he should lie. But what he can do with your confession, with your offering that you give today, you will see the increase. Amen. You will see the harvest. So this morning, as you plant your seed, remember, all you need is the word of God to grow the seed. All you need is a positive confession and have faith. Only believe and God will make a way for you. So sow your seed this morning and believe God and be blessed. Amen. Good morning, you beautiful, fearless woman of God. It is so good to be with you this morning to just share God's word with you. And today my scripture reading is from Psalms 150 verse 6. And the word of God says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Now I want you to take a deep breath with me. So that means you and that means me. We need to praise our God. We need to praise Him in the sanctuary. We need to praise Him at home. We need to praise Him for the powerful God that He is. We need to praise Him for His excellent greatness. We need to praise Him with the music. We need to praise Him with our breath. We need to praise Him with our song. We need to praise Him with our dance. We need to praise Him with our words because He is an almighty God who deserves our every praise. I have seen in my darkest hour, in the midnight hour, when I was walking through the valley of the shadow of death in December, I tell you what, there was only one thing that lifted me out of that bed and that is praise. I understood like Paul and Silas who were in a dark and dreary situation being locked up in prison that I may not have had the company of anybody but I knew I had the company of a mighty God and I, and like them I praised God until I got my breakthrough and saw myself getting healed and being raised from my deathbed. I want to tell you ladies this morning that you might be in a similar situation. You might be going through a whole lot. It might seem like a mountain to climb or a heaviness upon you. But I want to tell you this morning, if you would just take a moment to put on your garment of praise. And you know the word of God is clear because it can be taken off. So pick up your garment of praise, put it on and start to praise God. I came to tell you this morning that you need to raise your praise to our awesome God. God. You know, when you praise somebody, what you're doing, you are calling out that person's reputation. 
And come on, we both know here today that our God ha has an incomparable reputation. He has the reputation of being the greatest ever. There is nothing on this planet that is above him. Not a single thing in the heavens or the earth is above him. He is so powerful and so great. And if you start to call somebody's reputation out, I mean, think about when you're giving a speech and you say, oh, this person's like this. That person feels proud. And let me tell you something, the next time you need something, Thing, that person's going to respond in a might with whatever you've called out. So when you call out your God and you tell him, Father, we thank you that you're our healer, healing comes. When you say, Father, I thank you that you're my provider, provision comes because God is not a man that he should lie. And his reputation, oh, come on. Come on, it goes ahead of him. He's a mighty God. He's conquered, the, he's conquered the grave. He's conquered death. He broke the back of poverty. And he deserves our highest praise this morning. So come on, lift up a song unto God. Lift up a praise to your mighty God. He is mighty. He is all powerful. He is the, he is the sword. He's our shield. He's the lover of our souls. Oh man, he's our savior, our redeemer, our deliverer. And every morning and every evening he's the sun he's the moon he's in everything that is on this earth I mean I'm out here in the park this morning and I'm listening to the birds I'm listening to the dogs bark uh, the, the trees are swaying and you can just hear that beautiful breeze everything that has breath praises our God and so I ask you today to praise your God give him everything that is inside of you another reason why you must praise your God is so that other generations will see I think it's Psalm 79 that talks about that that we praise God so other generations will know how to praise him come on ladies we have got to do it not just for ourselves we've got to manifest the reputation of God on this earth because our children need to know who he is we need to lift up a song this morning ladies let everything that has breath praise the Lord ladies raise your praise this morning raise your praise this morning and give God all the glory let's worship our Lord Jesus love you girls so much have a wonderful week